All right, how's it going today? All right, I hope everybody's, you know, got home safely from the 4th of July. All right, I know there are probably some stragglers out, out there and so forth, but, you know, I don't want to be no bearer of bad news. Okay, but it's one of the things that you have to stay vigilant these days, uh, this day and age. Okay, uh, particularly over the weekend. I don't know what it is. Well, I think I know what it is, but it seems like between Father's Day, which is what? Just past the middle of June and July 4th, it seems like it's the bloodiest time of the year, every year. Okay, and it's been going on for, uh, like that for quite some time. All right. And I think that a lot of these killings and this is my understanding when I saw NBC nightly news last night, we it was over 20 mass shootings here in the U.S. Over the last few days. I just think that these are sacrifices or I believe that they could be like kind of like a, a, a double junction. Okay, or the shootings can be used in conjunction of gun reform. All right, but I don't think that this it, 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 the, um, it's the the guns, it's the people. And I'm gonna tell you this: just because you may be in one of those four little letter uh, liberal groups, don't mean that you are exempt. Okay, and. I have to be very, very careful about what I say because I'm on probation. My probation is at the end of the month. Okay, but um, crime is crime. I mean, in the end of the day, it's, well, I'm going to say this. See, this is all fun and games until somebody gets hurt or somebody gets killed. I've said that well over a year ago. Okay. And the trollers want to say that, oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, well, you know. It, it is a problem because it causes confusion. But nevertheless, Philadelphia, all right, another incident out there in Philly. That's where my, where my dad is from, all right. I, I would go to Philly uh, frequently, but I haven't really been going probably over the last couple of years, maybe like once a year. You got to keep your head low out there and so forth, all right. I mean, it's going to get so you can't even go out there and walk, you know, go on Broad Street or, South Street without doggone having a flag vessel and a Cavalier on, all right? Because there's people out there dying like every day. There was 630 murders out there last year. And this year there was, I think uh, up to, to date, there's something like what, what, five, 600 murders already. And we're barely in the second half of the year. <clears throat> so this guy, Kimberly character, uh, character, he, he uh 40 years old, okay, but it's my understanding that he likes to dress like a woman, okay, and he's deemed by his friends as being the opposite of straight, okay, you figure that out, okay, or you can watch some other videos that'll talk about that more in, in detail, check out the articles for yourself, you need to do that anyway, okay, uh, so I don't know what part of Philly this is, but there was some people out there, I guess, that gathered around, you know, and they might have been out doing their thing. It happened in the evening. It happened, let's see here. So the days the sixth, probably the, the third or the fourth, okay? But I knew, do know it happened at night. Okay, so five people, this guy, came, he had an AR, a pistol, and a flag vest, okay? Pulled up on a group of people. And just let loose. Five people murdered and three injured, including two twin babies. All right, that got glass in them in their eyes and so forth. Okay, the guy has been held at in Philadelphia custody without bail, and rightfully so. Okay, uh, especially when there's you know two small children involved. All right. So I wish you to be the, the same way for everybody, okay? For example, that guy there in Cincinnati that killed his three sons, okay? And he was issued bail. 
But nevertheless, that's neither here or there, okay? It's just another sad incident, all right? And it seems like for now, uh, Philly is like the forefront. Philly is getting like the new L.A. or Chicago, all right? That the, ch the killings out there are off the scale. And I would suggest, let's just say, when, you, when they have things like these block parties or whatever, okay, I don't know if they had a block party, okay, but I made one the other day that of a block party that they did out there in South Baltimore, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, that people that put together these parties may want to consider to having these, you know, block parties or somewhat organized. You can have, you know, uh, there's ways that you can get private security and so forth, okay, and maybe have it blocked off in a certain way, all right, but you probably want to have some type of, you know, contingency plan that if something does break, break out, then, you know, they can, the people that show up can have a escape plan or something like that along with, you know, security, all right. You probably want to let the city know or what you're doing and all that. So I'm pretty sure that somebody in, in the community has some type of ties with the police force. Okay. Like they don't have to be there, but they could probably, you know, be like on standby. Okay. I think that more of these events do need to be organized. But right away, the mayor of Philly and also that mayor down in Baltimore, I support that brother. Okay. But let's say the mayor of Philly you know, want to talk about the gun, the gun reform. Okay, well, let me tell you this, that there were several testimonies from friends and his neighbors and all that were saying that the guy didn't even cause any trouble. He just did whatever he did. I just said, you know, his lifestyle that he lived or whatever, okay? And for whatever reason, he just snapped. Now, I'm just, this is just, I'm just saying this. I don't know if it was a thing just for acknowledgement, uh, not acknowledgement, maybe because he was rejected, okay, maybe because of his preference, or maybe he was commissioned to go out there and, and do what he did, okay? But I'm pretty sure, and I've done enough of these articles or whatever, all right, and listened to enough of these podcasts, where it's, it's probably one of the two. Okay, for it to be okay, the crime to happen, and then it's like gun reform. Well, how about just get trying to get to the root of the crime or why it happened? Okay, the mayor didn't even say, Well, we need to find out, okay, why it happened. And yeah, I understand the gun, the gun reform, and so forth. Okay, but but it seems like his, his city's like. In them Democratic states, i.e., New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois, California, is where a lot of this 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 crime is happening. Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Now, I don't want to make it here a, a political thing, but it's, it do, it does seem like a lot of those blue states, like they want to try to like to go after the guns. But I'm just thinking it's the people. I mean, it's just an unfortunate thing that the guy was 40 years old. He didn't cause any trouble. And then all of a sudden, the, the, the man just stabbed. It had to be a reason behind that. And I, I'm just suggesting, like, one of the two. But no, no, nobody's exempt, okay? All right? So, yeah, I just think that uh, in the end of the day, I just think that the uh, proper justice was served. So let me know what you think about the video here. All right. I don't want to hold too much of your time. I am going to go on mosey and do some other things. I may make another video today. Like, subscribe, share, check out some of my other videos. Cash app dollar sign Winston Spivey if you want to donate.